Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katza. For those of you who do, welcome back. For today's video, it has been a little while since I did a thrift flip. I recently went thrift shopping. There was a few pieces that I found that I thought would be perfect to do a little revamp on. So that's what today's video is going to be about. But before we get into the video, I want to say a big thank you to Bed Voyage for sponsoring this video. If you don't know Bed Voyage, they are a bedding company. So they have all kinds of beautiful bamboo shoes sheets, linens, bed linens, duvets, towels, pillowcases. So if you are looking for the perfect bedding, then you should definitely go check them out. They're super soft, super comfy, super cozy. They're beautifully made. You guys know I love to change up the look of my bedding and I'm obviously keeping it still in the whole neutral colors, but I do love to change up my bedroom. It's one of those things that I think is easy to change up, add some different sheets, throw some different pillows, and it makes the whole bedroom look different. I'm so happy that they reached out because it was a little time to change up and spruce up the bedroom a little bit. So anyway, we're going to continue on with the video, but I'm going to show you guys what I end up doing with their sheets and talk to you guys a little bit more about their company. Anyway, so we're going to jump right into the first thrift flip. Like I told you in my last video I spruced up a little bit of my DIY room and one of the things that I wanted to change was the light fixture it was something that I wasn't too crazy about so when I was shopping I ended up finding this light fixture that had two round lampshades to it and I immediately thought that I can do something maybe using some clay I know that I wanted the color to be sort of a terracotta color you can totally use ivory even gray I think it would look beautiful but I envisioned something that had texture and I didn't want it to be too hanging. In my DIY room when I'm working or I'm filming my previous light fixture was constantly hitting a little bit the top of my head so I wanted something a little bit higher and in each bedroom the light fixtures are so hard to come off that I decided to work around those light fixtures so that I don't have to take them down. So that's exactly what I did. And I thought that seeing that light fixture would work perfectly and I would do the job. So we're going to start off with my first thrift flip. So let's jump right into it. Enjoy.
So now we're gonna get back into the bedding. I wanted to share with you my bedroom and how I spruced it up by using some of Bed Voyage sheets and their duvet covers. What I end up getting is the set. It comes with a duvet, sheets, quilted pillowcases, and a decorative pillow as well. And I got it in this sort of a taupey beige color. I love my neutral colors, my earthy colors, so I don't think that that's going to change anytime soon when it comes to my home. As much as I love to wear colorful things, I tend to be a little bit more neutral when it comes to my home. The ones that I end up getting are called Melange Bamboo and it has this beautiful dual texture of the combination of 50% bamboo and 50% long staple cotton. The sheets are made from a unique waterless coloring method so this makes the colors rich, true and yet bleachable. What I think makes the sheets super special is first of all they are so soft. I end up washing them as soon as I got them and I put them on low heat in the dryer. They say not to put any dryer sheets or any dryer balls. Just a little heads up. I didn't end up putting it, but they came out beautifully. One of the things that I love is that there's a twisting of the white cotton threads with the black or the beige bamboo threads, and it creates this beautiful textured look to your sheets. And one thing is the fabric is also BPO safe. So all of your retinols and your creams, they don't stain the linens, which is so good. If you're like me, you put your night creams on and you put your retinols and all of that stuff, you wake up and at least it's not ruining your sheets that you, you know, you invested in and you want to keep them nice. The sheets are hypoallergenic and soothing to the skin. We want that. Like I told you guys, it is important. We spend most of our time sleeping. A good mattress and good sheets are a must when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle. They don't use any harmful chemicals like, um, I think it's called formadalhyde. I don't know if I'm saying that properly, but it is such an important thing. I don't like chemicals. I just want a natural lifestyle. When you're using bamboo sheets, it naturally resists to bacteria longer. So your sheets feel fresher and cleaner longer in between the, you know, the washing. One of my sisters, she changes her sheets every two days and that's just a little too much for me. But I would say once a week I change my sheets, I put on new clean ones and the fact that they have a natural resistance to bacteria is a plus. So anyway, that is pretty much it when it comes to Bed Voyage. I will leave all the information down below. So if you guys are interested in changing up your sheets, they have other colors as well. I chose the taupe one. There's all all kinds of different sheets and covers and they even have bath towels anyway go check them out they are super sweet they are offering you a discount code happy shopping we're gonna jump right into the next thrift flip so the next one is I had seen this vase and I mean the shape alone was what drew me to it I thought it was so beautiful and different but the two-tone color to it was not my thing I didn't like the shininess to it I didn't like the two-tone colors it needed a little change so what i end up thinking of doing is i had some seashells that i had i had some beautiful crystals rocks left over from some of my previous diys so what i thought of doing is just using them and incorporating them into the vase and making the vase a little bit extra special i kept it obviously more in the cream color i didn't want to paint it a dark color i want to keep it light bright and airy so that's exactly what i did and now we're going to jump into the second thrift flip
on to the third one. You guys know I love my home decor, but I also love my fashion. And this one, I found it towards the end. And I found something that I thought was unique, but I can definitely add a little extra Katya in it. I end up finding this beautiful, I would say it looks almost like a, a mud cloth style jacket and I love the color. It was this sort of blue and I just love the jacket in general, but I did feel it was missing something. So I end up adding some of my fabrics that I had from Koakaya. I end up using some ribbon. I wanted to spruce it up and make it a little bit more me. This is what my third DIY is going to be. So let's jump right into the third one. That is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite. I always love revamping things. And recently I went with my mom. We went thrift shopping and my sisters, we went thrift shopping and my mom ended up telling me, I told her that there's something about revamping something that I love and I feel is me. And it's so funny. My mom ended up telling me that my grandmother used to love to buy things and fix it up revamp it and it's funny how i didn't even know that about my grandmother i knew that she loved sewing but i didn't know that she loved what i love 
It was so cool to hear. I think it's one of the things that I love the most. So thrift shopping, mixing in with revamping, making things your own, reusing them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My next video, like I said, I went thrift shopping with my family. So I took it along with me. So we will be having a thrift video and obviously a little haul at the end to show some of my treasures that I end up finding. So for those of you who've been asking for my come thrift with me, it is coming in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Love you guys always. Mwah. Bye.